today we're going to be browsing the modern day internet on this Dell Optiplex GX620 just see if it can handle it. Now here's the specs of it. It has a Pentium D at 2.8 gigahertz. Um, has four gigabytes of DDR2 memory with one gig in each slot, which is the maximum it supports. I could put eight gigs in there, but it's just going to blue screen because the chipset cannot handle that much. Just a chipset limit limitation. So yeah, and it even has a 256 gigabyte Samsung 850 Pro SSD. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and boot to Windows 7. Now, it does have three other operating systems on there. It has Windows, the earlier version of Windows, has Windows XP and Windows 2000, and also has Windows Vista. But for this demonstration, we're going to do Windows 7. Now, SSD really does make a difference, I'll tell you, in terms of boot time, for sure, and performance, probably, as well. See, that was very stupid fast. I'm going to type in my password, then I'll be back with you guys momentarily. Alright, now that I've typed in my password, let's go ahead and log on. So there you are. And I even have a few applications on the got Supermium, which is the web browser they're going to be using, because obviously Internet Explorer sucks, and Google Chrome is not officially supported on this anymore, so Supermium it is. And then we got 7-Zip, Bandicam, Bandicoot, Specky and the vast one antivirus. I guess we'll go to Specky just to show you a little bit of some in depth of the specs on it. Come on. Yep. Slowly loading its specs, so as you can see, it is in dual channel, and you can see there is the spec better in depth in specs. It is a Pentium D820 from Smithfield Technology. So, and it's Windows XP, well, not Windows XP, Windows 7 Professional 64 bit service pack 1 Dell OEM. And it installed most of the drivers because it is a Dell OEM copy. So, we'll go ahead and load Supermium, I guess. And we're going to test it. We're going to do some benchmarking on it. See, it didn't load that. Um, that it did not load that slow, but also didn't do the. Fa I seen it way faster, but. I'm going to go ahead and load Discord just to see how it does. Definitely taking its time for sure, but at the same time, it could be a lot worse as well. Yeah, this was definitely a solid computer at, of its time. Of course, it's 20 years old now, but it's still pretty nice for what it is. If you and this is also my IDE and SATA hard drive testing computer. If I someone like brings me hard drives that they need me to get the pictures off of or a broken laptop or whatever, I can stick the hard drive in here and it's Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows uh, Vista, Windows 7. I can just stick it in here and. It'll work. So, yeah. Anyways, it did not load it that slowly. It could be a lot worse at the same time. But I feel like it could be a little bit better, too. We'll go ahead and load eBay just to see how it does. See, it's definitely taking a sweet little time on that one for sure. Loading everything. But think about it, it is faster than... I thought, especially with that SSD, it definitely helps in a lot. So, SSD is putting work in, and think about it, so it is a 20 year old computer after all, so. Yeah. Go ahead and load Flickr, because why not? And you should definitely follow my Flickr, I do bus photography on there, so. It's called Edmonton County School Buses, so if you haven't followed me, then go ahead and do so. Not begging you guys, by the way. You don't, just don't have to. I'm just being a little bit sarcastic. <laughs> Definitely taking, this is probably the website that's taking the longest to load by far. To load everything. 
And after this one, we're going to do a YouTube. And then after that, we're going to do one last one, which is Spotify. And uh, in case you're wondering what I'm using to connect to the internet, I do not have a Wi-Fi box in this room. I have to use a USB Wi-Fi dongle. So, yeah. Actually, we have one more to do before we do YouTube. And YouTube will probably be its heaviest benchmark by far. We will do the National Weather Service. This is a pretty basic website, so it should have no time to load everything. Maybe. This is a pretty basic website. So, yeah. And you see, the site will remain updated during the government, sh government shutdown. So, we'll go ahead and do YouTube now. Now go ahead and load a YouTube video. I'm going to pause right now. So yeah, that took absolutely forever to load, but did a little bit better than I thought. Well, now let's see how it plays it. See, it ain't doing so good, ain't it? I uh, that's what I thought. It's gonna buffer really, really, really bad. All right, what is going on, guys? So today we're gonna be doing a bit over. Yeah, it's just it's just not it's just not going to do it, unfortunately. It's just not going to do it. This came out in about 2018, if you recall correctly. So today we're going to be taking a look at it. I got this at my recycling center, local recycling center, for forty dollars without RAM or SSD. But luckily, had a Dell Flex 5050 before that that takes the same style, type style SSD. Okay, it's doing a little bit better once it warms up. It actually does okay, not the best, but oh, somewhat usable at least. So, well, our last test is now going to be Spotify. So let me go ahead and load that really quickly. Well, it looks like I cannot do Spotify, unfortunately, because it gives me the stinking error no matter what I do. So yeah, I guess that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share your thoughts down in the comments, and stay tuned for more content to come.